afternoon, Tech Heart. This is really fun. We've been working on the 2025 Arch Linux playlist. In the prior video, we installed Arch Linux and did all of our customization and theming on the not GUI side, just for Grub and our Plymouth uh, Lux Unlocking theming. And it was really cool, man. So you've got your system set up, but hey, you need something more. You don't want to only log into the CLI, right? Let's get going on that. Jump on into the screen capture with me, and today we're going to work on KDE Plasma. It's the most popular desktop environment for Linux, or I guess Arch Linux. It's the most basic one. Eh, it's not the most basic one. It's the first one we're going to get going on, huh? Let's go! What a shitty intro. Okay, let's get this party started. We're booted into our vanilla Arch Linux installation. We followed the first video in the 2025 Arch Linux playlist, and we have this CLI vanilla uh, customized Arch Linux install. So let's log in. And in this video, we're going to show installing the KDE Plasma desktop environment. Let's jump over to the Arch Wiki in a web browser. It's on a different computer, but it'll let you see everything. It's called the Arch Wiki. I'll flash the website on the screen. And everything that you might want to add to Arch Linux will be in this Arch Wiki, from KDE Plasma to Grub to Cinnamon or any other desktop environment or any other login manager. Everything is here, and it shows you how to install, customize, and use these softwares. I'm going to go down to the installation section, and the main points we're going to look at is 1.1 and 1.3. I will point out that if you're on an NVIDIA graphics card, you'll want to take a look at the Arch Wiki NVIDIA page and make sure you have the drivers that you need. However, we can just look at 1.1, installing Plasma. We need to either install the Plasma-Meta package or the Plasma package. The difference is the dash meta package will install everything, every piece of software, every add-on, everything that the KDE team puts in this release. When that really matters is down here on the KDE application part. I suggest installing KDE-applications and not the applications-meta because do you want all the little games and doodads and softwares they package in there? You might want some of them, but for most people I suggest installing Plasma-meta and KDE-applications so you can choose those games and applications you want. However, for today, I'm going to install the dash meta on both Plasma and KDE applications so you can see all of the software and we'll walk through that after we're done. Let's switch back over to our Arch Linux and we'll get this thing started. The first thing that we'll do before we do anything else is a sudo pacman s y y u. This will update our system to make sure that we have no errors when we're installing Plasma. So we'll let that finish. And those are just the changes that happened in Arch Linux since we've made our vanilla installation. So we'll let that go. Okay, and that looks like it's done, so I'll clear the screen, and we'll run a sudo pacman-s on plasma-meta and on kde-applications-meta. And again, this is going to install everything. Give it a password. We have a couple choices we have to choose. Do we want FFmpeg or GStreamer? I want the default number one. We'll take the default jack two here. I'll take the default on the fonts also. We can add more if we want later. Uh, one change that I make is I select Photon QT6-VLC instead of the MPV version because I like VLC. We could take the default there and there and also on the Tesseract thing. And see that we had to make no choices. It just tells us we're going to install everything here. So select yes and let's get that thing going. This will take a while. We're installing six gigabytes of data. So let that sucker have some fun and I'll catch you back when it's all finished. Oh yeah.
Okay, that finished up, guys. I know it's off screen a little bit because of the screen capture, but there we go, I can clear the screen. One thing we'll wanna check is we'll do a sudo systemctl status sddm. What's sddm? We can go over here to the Arch Wiki, and uh, we'll go down now that we've already installed Plasma and KDE applications, and it talks about starting Plasma, and the first thing is using a display manager. And we're gonna use sddm, uh, but we want Plasma to start automatically, so let's go back to our Arch Linux. We'll do that status on SDDM, and we can see that it's inactive. It's loaded, but it's inactive. So let's do a sudo systemctl enable sddm.service, okay? And I guess we can start it right here. We can do a sudo systemctl start sddm.service. And look at that, Bob's your uncle. We can enter our password here. And also take note of this. You see the SDDM theme right here? Plasma 6 actually has a really cool one, but for some reason it's not active when you load this up the first time. I'll show you how to do so. There we go, we're booted into Plasma 6. We have a cool welcome center. You can go through and learn a lot of things about Plasma. I'm gonna show you some of the cool first things to do with Plasma. I like that it comes stock or standard with all telemetry disabled. If you want to give them some information like basic system information or even more, you can choose to here, but I'll leave that completely disabled. Make sure you take a look through this welcome center. It might have some info for you. We're gonna open up settings. First thing we'll do is select Breeze dark theme. Let me know, do you guys prefer the dark theme? I sure do. Forget about it. Look at that cool new Plasma 6 floating taskbar. That can be turned off if you don't like it, but I think it's great. You can even um, resize this more like the Mac OS and make it shorter. Let's uh, fix that SDDM login. Let's go over here to SDDM login screen, right in settings. And look, it says that the Breeze theme is active, but it's not. I'm just going to select off of that and I'll click apply, give it a password. I'm going to choose Breeze again and apply it. Now let's log out and see if that's fixed things for us. We don't want to shut down, let's just log out. There we go, that's looking a lot better. So that's the normal Plasma 6 SDDM theme. And I don't know why that doesn't trigger the first time you boot. But anyway, there we are. We can see down here if we look, we are on Plasma Wayland which is what we want. It's the newer compositor than X11. So we'll leave that on Wayland. There's sometimes you might need X11, but for most people, we're gonna stick on Wayland, baby. It's 2025. What else can we spruce up? I'm gonna walk through real quick. Go to mouse and trackpad or touchpad. And for this, I like to change this setting, integrated right click. Uh, do I wanna press the button in my lower touchpad right corner? No, I wanna press the touchpad with two fingers for right click. I think I like to invert my scroll too. Is that somewhere in here? Yeah, invert scrolling direction. So I'll select that. There's other stuff. You can set up your screen edges to do things. I'm not gonna do so now. We can look at our wallpaper and change to a different one, but I like this just fine. Let's go Plasma, actually. Boom! We'll look at color and themes. We're on Breeze Dark. That's fine for me. Colors. You can change up your colors in your window boxes if you like. You can choose an accent color. There we go. You can change your application style. I think I prefer this. This makes your window boxes a little different. You have a Plasma style. Breeze. I'm going to select Breeze Dark. You can even change your window decoration. I like the standard breeze ones, but just to show you, you can kind of go retro if you like. It changes those corners up there. Icons, you can change your icons. I'm gonna show you something too. With all of these different things, you can click up here on get new icons or get new theme, and you can download tons of different icons and all inside Plasma, you can really make it your own. This goes for global themes too. Same with your cursors. I used to download some cool Amiga cursors. System sounds, splash screen. So right now we're on this breeze one. Let's check this out. Let's go to get new, see if we can find a cooler splash screen. Here's an Arch Linux one. That might be pretty cool. We'll grab that. There's a matrix rain. I'll grab that. I might want to play with that later. 
but there's a lot of cool themes here and in other sections of Plasma. And it's really cool how they allow you to add new parts of it, new themes, right here. Now let's see how we can use those. Now when we go back here to splash screen, they were already there, but we're currently on the breeze one. Man, I think I'm gonna go with the Matrix Rain. Can we get a preview? Yeah, come on, that's super cool, right? We can preview the arch one. All right, that's cool. Listen, I think it's Matrix Rain, but we're gonna stick with the arch theming here, guys. So we'll click that and click Apply. Remember, you always have to click Apply when you make changes. And yeah, so there's all of our theming options. The global theme too, now this is like the biggest one. We're on Breeze Dark, which is really cool. But if you get new global themes here, this can really change your entire system. They have like Mac OS themes, uh, looks like Big Sur or whatnot. So you can really make this look however you like. You don't have to stick with just uh, basic KDE. Make sure you remember to come in your global themes and uh, click get new and check out all of the options here. You can sort by rating. See the top ones first. Here's a Windows 10, Sweet KDE, Apple Mac OS, Lay-In. But anyway, there's really cool themes in here. So check it out. What's the nothing theme? That's pretty nice, man. Should we show it? I'm gonna. I'm gonna install the nothing theme. Okay, let's go check that out. We're probably gonna come right back to Breeze Dark, but let's select nothing. And we can only change the appearance settings or we can change the desktop and window layout too. That's like applying the full theme. And it warns us of such, but we can just switch back to Breeze. So I'm gonna apply both. And look at this. Our entire system changes just like that. Notice now you have these different taskbars and it's all set up to the nothing people's specifications. And that's pretty cool. It is a whole lot of nothing because where's our start menu? I guess it's right there. So you can see how you can totally change KDE Plasma very easily. Let's switch back to Breeze Dark and we'll have to select both. We'll apply that and look at the magic happen. Boom! So I hope this has shown you some of the quick things you can do with Plasma. Remember that when you install Plasma and KDE Dash applications, it will install everything. If you install the Dash Meta, it'll let you choose. And I suggest people do the KDE Dash applications Dash Meta. I'll show you really quickly, like if we go to games. So look, it throws in here these 15 or 20 games that I really don't want on my system. And if you want them, great, install everything. But if you install KDE-Applications-Meta, it'll let you choose. Again, you have a lot of development stuff here, in here, which is really good, but you might not want all of this. Same thing in education. I don't need all this stuff. I don't need Hangman. I don't need Japanese reference guides or a lot of this stuff. So that's what installing the Dash Meta package will allow you to pick and choose. And some of this is really good. Like I like having Gwen view, it's a quick JPEG or PNG viewer. And I like having some of these tools, but you might not want everything. For instance, in the internet section, I'm gonna pick my own email and I, I always install Brave Browser. So yeah, if you don't like all this air quotes bloat, make sure you take a look at the Dash Meta packages. All right, that's all this video was covering guys, is how to install KDE Plasma on your vanilla Arch Linux installation. It looks really good guys. We still have all of that customization from our earlier attempts. So when we shut down, we'll see our Plymouth unlock screen. And man, this is really nice guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch y'all on the flip. You know what time it is, Tech Heart. Oh!